Hey, I'm over here at Moish and Gorge area with this gentleman right here. Uh, this is Javier Sr. And he is, uh, you know, of course, the uh, the founder of this and bringing him home his, uh, his homemade recipes and stuff. A great story here, too, as we celebrate Cinco de Mayo uh, on this Tuesday. So, you guys? My bad. Not Old Town in Mission Gorge Mission neighborhood. Gorge. Okay. okay, let's talk to Leslie. They're celebrating she everywhere. And Brad Perry is learning how to make Mexican food. Hey, Brad. Yes, I am. We are just celebrating Cinco de Mayo in all kinds of ways. Uh, we come back. I'm going to learn how to... What are these called again? Sope? Sope. When we come back with more, good morning, San Diego, with our music on the patio there. Yeah, we are celebrating the day. Brad Perry is learning how to make authentic Mexican food, and that's a scary thing. Yes. Time. Well, he loves food, mm -hmm. as do we all, but, you know, having you make it is is uh, quite the feat, Brad. <laughs> yeah, it is quite the feat, but what's really great here is that this has been tradition uh, passed down from father to son to me now. Uh, so I, can I be Javier the third? The third or, I'm the third. Yeah. Javier the third. I like that one. Or actually, you guys can call me uh, Charlie. Chocolate. That's my nickname. Uh, that's right. Grande Chocolate. Chocolate. All right, Chocolate. That's right. I'm Chocolate. This is great. This is this is where we're talking about. This is family owned. Talking with dad, it was great. Where you know your dad actually was a, 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 a yeah. He was original. my dad was the original, and then back about eight, in the eighty, we got out of it, and in eighty four, next month, thirty one years. So I started all over by myself and. And uh, here it is today. It, it, it's a great, it's a great story and a dream that he's done, and now he's passed it on to this young man here. And this is stuff that you were making, like right there by yourself, by hand, and everything. And, and then you grew up with it. You said that you actually started working in the stores at what? How old? Uh, Ten years old. Ten years old. That's yeah. so cool. And, and for those who are tuning in, it's nine o'clock. Let's remind people what Cinco de Mayo is about, because some people think it is Independence Day, right? Yeah, it's, it's not Mexican Independence Day. It's to celebrate the victory in the Battle of Puebla with the the Mexicans over over the French. Wow. There you go. See, and that's where, and then it turned it now to a big old party. Yeah, and they eat uh, burritos all day. Yeah. We've already been serving up a ton of breakfast burritos this morning and a lot of par uh, office parties, and every everybody wants to celebrate Cinco de Mayo. Yeah, and Cinco de Mayo with family. This is great where he keeps in the family and stuff. Uh, so, all right, so tradition, you guys actually make these right here, right? Yeah, those are the beef tamales. Those are made by hand at each of our locations. And, um, yes, yeah, so we make those from scratch uh, all year long. And then you asked me about what are some of the authentic, real yeah. traditional Mexican items. Right. That, that'd be one of them. And then along with a, a sope, there's a real traditional sope. And we serve these at all of our locations. So. Right. And how is this, what do I, how do I start this off? All right, well, first you got to... We got the sope, which right. is kind of like a doughy. Yeah, I'm going to hold the, hold all the right, mic yeah, for you. Yeah, all right, sorry. All right, I got that. All so right. there. And so then we're going to spread the beans on it first. Right, beans. Take a little bean, spread it on there. Is it supposed to be done any certain right way? Right in the middle, spread it around. Like That's the, good. Is That's that good. enough beans? Plenty, plenty. Because beans, beans make it soup. <laughs> <laughs> now you're going to go right. with the, the shredded beef. All right, shredded beef. Some of that and shredded just, beef in there. And how much do I put on there? Uh, Just a good little, yep. Is that perfect. good? Perfect. Dad, how am I doing? Good, good. Am I doing good? All right. Is it more in there? No, that's good. Now you got to get some lettuce. All right, some lettuce. This is pretty easy to do. Yeah. This is, like, cool to do with the family and stuff. Kind of yeah. like, yeah. Then you're gonna do some, enough lettuce? Yeah, perfect. All right. And, uh, get some sour cream on there. All right, sour cream. Not too much. Ooh, doo -doo. Look at this. Just I a got little this. dollop. That's it? Yep. All right. Some uh, fresh tomatoes. Tomatoes. Look at this. I got time-wise. I can, This is really nice right, to do at home. Good. Is that good? That'll work. All right. And then uh, just sprinkle a little scoop of uh, cotija cheese on there. There. Look at that. How's that? Perfect. Let's see how you good? did. How'd you do? How'd you compare to the model? Let me see. Let's. What do you guys? What do you guys think? <laughs> What do you, I that is mine there. That's well, mine. That's know. the model. Look at I say throw more cheese on it, and yep. it's way better that way. Look it's yummy. way better. I'm, so, I'm hey, very proud of you. Thank you. They say you come in, get some chips and everything. They, they got it all right here. But I'll tell you, a great story where uh, dad is passing down to son, uh, and especially on the Cinco de Mayo Day, uh, seeing authentic uh, Mexican food restaurant growing here in San Diego. So I know you guys got mariachis out there. You guys got stuff, but do you have a sombrero like mine? Uh, I found one floating around the newsroom. Yes, I do. Did you? I did. Uh. I don't have it on yet. It's certainly not as fancy as yours, though. Mine's you win fancy. the sombrero contest. Uh, yeah. right. You win that contest. Augusta mi sombrero, mi fiesta sombrero. Yes. Grande chocajave. Okay. Uh, Goodbye. <laughs>